Hi guys, Steph here. Take a look at this beauty. What an absolutely gorgeous fountain pen. What we've got for you here is the Wall Eversharp Doric Gold Seal fountain pen. This one is what they term as the second generation. Now, I'm not a big aficionado, or whatever the terminology is, of the Wall Eversharp pens, so um, and what, basically what I'm going to do is just stick with the this particular model being the second generation and as it says being the gold seal fountain pen. Now this model, the second generation, I do believe they came with a lever fill system as well, filling system. Um, this one, as we'll show in a moment, is what they term as the one shot vacuum filler. And for you people that know some of the pens, it's based or it's very similar to the Schaefer Vacfill fountain pens. Very similar um, sort of filling system on this particular pen. The gorgeous thing about this pen is, again, let's have a look at it for you. You can see it's what they term as a faceted fountain pen. It's got these facets going all the way round as you can see there and if we sort of do you a little bit of a twirl you can see all the different facets on the pen an absolutely gorgeous and handsome pen very much sort of what I term as an art deco design a very handsome fountain pen the size of it from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel it's around about 138 millimeters capped um, the barrel sort of slightly tapers but at the thickest sort of section it's around about 12 millimeters in diameter as we said it's a vac fill or a plunger filler which we'll show in a moment but let's take you up to the cap and let's show you this beautiful sort of cap band here again very sort of art deco-y you can see the band has got these sort of uh, sort of triangles sort of cut into the cap band itself there. Um, the reason for the cap band actually being very low on the cap, I believe that sort of the first generation there was a big problem with the sort of the caps actually cracking when people posted posted the cap. So what they did, they, they sort of introduced this sort of wide cap band very low to the end of the cap there to well presumably to prevent the cap lip cracking there's the clip for you there a very nice sort of again i think very art deco here you can see to the top there we've got the the symbol to the top of the clip there there's the sideways view for you and just above the kit clip there you can see what they term as this sort of what they term as the gold seal little button just above the clip there and to the very top of the cap you can see it's slightly peaked which sort of is similar to the end of the barrel there so all in all absolutely gorgeous there's no um, sort of barrel imprint on this pen the imprint is actually on the cap and again let's give you an angle so hopefully you can see it and I'm hoping you can read there it says actually I forgot what it says is it ever sharp <laughs> let me have a look over wow ever yeah so wall ever sharp and then to the very bottom there you can see it says USA let's do a different angle okay so so the barrel imprint, as you can see, is on one of the facets on the cap, as you can see there. Again, an absolutely gorgeous pen. This one I found actually out in the wilds while I was actually searching for pens. It came to me, to be quite honest with you, in quite a sorry state. And personally, I believe somebody's actually tried sort of servicing it and well has not done too good of a job what I've actually done 
um, I've actually totally cleaned everything internally the the nib the feed the barrel inside I've replaced the plunger washer inside so there's a new plunger washer in there to the end of the barrel here there's a like a little packing packing unit with uh, seals I've repl well I've removed the original sort of felt seals etc we've replaced it with new seals and just a little tip um, what I actually used is the point seal rubber washer from a PFM Schaefer fountain pen now it's actually a little well it's too big for the packing unit so you do have to actually adjust it sort of on the outside to make it fit inside the plug and uh, also because of the size of it we needed to fill a little bit of the gap I also, I also used uh, my own sort of washes that I actually cut out of um, yeah out of bicycle inner tube so it's very well packed lots of grease in there and hopefully as we'll see in a moment it works lovely now let's unscrew the cap for you okay let's show you some different angles an absolutely gorgeous handsome pen okay let's take you up to this section you can see the section you can see actually on the barrel it's sort of where the facets actually end about here it sort of tapers in towards the thread and then you've got this lovely sort of quite a long sort of section uh, yeah section very comfortable and then let's have a look at this nib some of you may have seen these before some may have not okay what we've actually got again what they actually termed that's well ever sharp they termed it as being a adjustable point nib okay you can see this sort of silver sort of bar if you like to the middle of the gold nib the imprint let's give you a little bit of a sideways view see if it's actually any clearer okay there uh, I think that's a little bit better there you can see to the very bottom just below that sort of silver section it reads the wall company made in USA so obviously you know the pen as we said a little bit earlier with the imprint was made in USA now the reason for this sort of silver sort of bar to the top and well as it says on the tin it's what they termed as an adjustable point nib and basically the idea behind it is you can actually move this silver bar upwards or downwards um, the nearer the bar is towards the, the point of the nib the harder or the stiffer the nib is and apparently if you move it downwards towards the section you can actually get a little bit of flexibility in the nib so you know it's, it's an adjustable nib that gives you the best of both worlds whether it works or not I do not know we'll see in a moment okay so there's a sideways view there's the feed underneath you can see it's got an M which I'm assuming is telling it's a medium nib and what you may also notice is to the very top there you can see this little piece of metal jutting out there now that piece of metal there again is what they termed as a safety ink shut off and in theory what happens is that when you actually place the pen or screw it into the cap the inner cap sort of touches this metal here and if I can just do it for you okay you can see there we go you can see it's actually sprung inside when I actually took the nib out to clean everything you can actually well you can actually see there's a there's a, a, uh, a spring inside sort of connected to the underside of the feed so it's a little sort of shut off system that they use now apparently although it's a shut off system from what I've read it didn't actually work very good um, and it got to a stage where I believe they had to they had to 
sort of take back the claims that they made that it was a shut off and they, they sort of stopped um, well they stopped claiming it to be a shut off valve okay so although it's a nice idea I believe it didn't work very good okay so there's a nib very interesting nib and again one thing we've not mentioned look how big the nib is it's a lovely large nib size as well now let's have a look at the pen the pen a lovely size I'm actually not too sure if they actually term this as being an oversized pen I'm not I'm not quite sure but it's a lovely very comfortable pen to actually hold okay and to write with which yes I know you like to see it writing we'll do that in a moment now as I said earlier I believe somebody was sort of has actually actually tampered with this pen and one thing you'll notice is the plunger knob to the top there has well it's got this slight gap and for some reason it looks like it's actually shrunk so whatever somebody tried doing I do not know but it doesn't actually close flush to this gold sort of ring to the bottom of the barrel there okay now I do believe you can actually buy these uh, plunger plunger knobs so what I'm going to do I'm going to try and find a new home for this pen so well yeah the new owner can decide yeah should I replace it should I not in my opinion it doesn't affect the sort of the beauty of the pen and hopefully as we'll see in a moment it doesn't affect you know the usage the filling of the pen either so that's why I've actually left it as it is like that and again you know the new owner whoever actually sort of decides they'd like to buy this pen they can decide what they want to do but as we said it's the plunger knob to the end there and if we unscrew it and what happens is that we can pull this plunger out like so and then what we do we dip the ink and the section in the ink in the ink and we push down with one swift movement and that as it says on the tin is a one shot vacuum filler okay you can hear this sort of like nice sort of like a a dull thud sound which is what we want to hear okay this like a dull sort of popping sound to the end there now one thing which is very interesting with this pen it's actually classed as what I term as black but on this pen and I believe some of the other models oops a daisy if I get my light let's show you the barrel okay so there you can see it's got this sort of see-through barrel and you can see there the plunger rod in the middle and it's in this sort of like a tortoise shell pattern very interesting very attractive in my opinion but as it says you've got this sort of like ink window and you can see the ink inside the barrel so very interesting okay so let's pop that to one side incidentally although I'm saying that this one is the black I believe they came in numerous different colors there's some gorgeous colors but either way in this black I still find it very very handsome indeed okay now as I said I've serviced it new plunger plunger washer new packing washers inside there everything when I tested it I actually put the the end of the sort of barrel if you like the opening of the barrel on my tongue I pressed it I could let go and it actually stuck to my tongue which is precisely what we like to see so let's bring on our ink so let's pull out the plunger in fact what I'm going to try and do let's just see I don't know if it's going to work but let's pop that on there like that and let's pop it down and let's see if we can see let's move my hand and let's see if we can see the ink going into the barrel <laughs> there you go 
Okay, so you could see it was nice and clear before. It's not as clear now because we've got some ink in there. So let's pop that to one side. Let's screw. Okay, let's screw the plunger back on. Pop that to one side. And let's bring on our writing pad. And let's see how the pen writes. So, in fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to push that little bar to the top, like, like so. So at this point, we should have sort of the stiffest writing experience. So what we've got is a Yeah, a well ever ever sharp and this one's the Doric and it's what they term as the gold gold seal version and it's second gener generation and as we said earlier made in USA so there we have it and as you can see it's writing with quite a fine line okay so we missed the nine out there so it's writing with a fine line and as it says sort of the description yes it's writing quite stiff so let's now get this little bar here okay let's see if you see it let's pop that down there you go as far down as it'll go you can see it's gone down towards the towards the section and let's see how the pen writes now so Right, Robin. Right, don't you just love it when that happens? I don't, I don't think it actually filled with ink. I don't think. So let's just try that again. It's always nice when these things happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that back out again. And always oh, difficult working over the camera. Oh, I see. I didn't put the whole section in the nib. That's why. So. Right, I'm hoping you can see that. Let's keep it so I can see what I'm doing. And let's push down. Ha! That's better! You could definitely hear that. Loads of bubbling going on. So, okay, the first time I didn't put the full sort of section into the ink. So let's screw that back up again. Let's pop the ink to one side. In fact, what I'll do, let's bring on that torch again for you. And just to confirm, look at that. That is actually full of ink. And as you could hear, all that bubbling going on. So, let's uh, again, did we adjust it? Yes, to the bottom there. And let's try again so basically what you're seeing here when i'm testing them you're seeing what i'm seeing if there's a problem we need to sort of uh, adjust things here and there but there you go a little problem filling the pen but we've done it now so let's try again that's much better so wall ever sharp Doric Gold Gold Seal Second Second Generation <laughs> Actually I'm quite actually quite impressed with that 
So you can actually see the difference. To, when we actually adjust this, sort of adjuster to the top, it's it's a fine, quite a hard nib. Personally, I'm preferring it as it is now. When it's adjusted as far back as it'll go, we're getting sort of a broader line as well. So, and look at that. In fact, what we'll do, let's do some figure of eights. Absolutely lovely. So, what we can say is this little adjuster on the nib actually works. All the way up to the towards the tip, fine, hard line, push it all the way back. And what we're getting now is a broader line, and look at that, we're getting a flexible nib with some lovely line variation, and a lovely ink flow, and a very nice writer. So for me personally, I prefer when it's pushed back with this little bit of flexibility, this little bit of variation, but at the end of the day, an absolutely gorgeous writer, as you would expect from this pen. So, what we'll do, we'll empty the pen once we finish the video, and then what we'll do, let's try and find a nice home for this gorgeous, gorgeous pen. And somebody will enjoy it for many years to come. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely handsome, this faceted, wall, ever sharp, Doric, gold sealed, second generation fountain pen beauty i hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as i enjoy showing them to you people don't forget down below leave a comment don't be shy um press the thumbs up that you like you like the video and if you possibly can down below please support my work and don't forget people we're still not over it there's little bits of problems we're having out there so please stay safe but for now i'll just say bye bye for now